Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to our little press conference for St. Angelo's Riverfest. My name is Carl White. I'm the Parks and Recreation Director for the City of San Angelo. Angelica Pena is here as well. She's also uh, helped significantly in helping to coordinate this event. Um, San Angelo's Riverfest, the reason why we're having this event, we realize that the, uh, the recent improvements that are funded by the Hassan Sales Tax, as well as lots of different grants, the recent improvements along the river will be complete sometime in October. And uh, we also knew that the 100-year anniversary of Santa Fe Park, which is basically the golf course coming all the way down to uh, by the YMCA, that park is seeing its 100-year anniversary. So with the combination of both of those, those events, we realized we really needed to have a big celebration to celebrate those improvements that we've done and the 100-year anniversary. So we, we've created this event for that. And it may be an event that happens uh, every year from now on. R San Angelo's Riverfest is an activity-based event. We've brought in a, a, a basically lots of different organizations who have smaller events to create one large event. We've given you a press release to t that has information about the event. We have a, uh, a flyer that we're going to use as the event flyer that you've got. Uh, the event starts basically Friday evening, Friday afternoon, at the old Neffs area where the amusement park used to be. A carnival will be there Friday afternoon. Friday evening, the uh, Richard Salmon Sculpture Garden will have its reveal at Sunken Garden Park by the visitor center that evening at six o'clock and then friday evening we'll finish with a, uh, a concert at the river stage with some tejano bands the red tape band the old hat band and the texas tornadoes saturday is the the next day saturday is packed full of events and activities it starts with a signature event which is the color up run it begins at fort concho it goes along downtown it's a fun run, goes along downtown, catches the river trail, goes around the golf course, comes back around the river trail, and then ends at the pavilions, going by the, um, the art museum in the Paseo, and ends at the pavilions. What makes this, a, this a, a fun activity is that participants, as they go along, it's not competitive, it's all recreational. As the runners, the participants go along, they get tagged with these color, bright color packets at different locations along the event. That's what makes it really fun and exciting. And by the time they end up at the end of the race, they have a big party, they, they throw more color around, there's lots of music, and it's just really a good time. Concurrently, there's also a four-man scramble golf tournament at the golf course. We'll start with kids' activities uh, for kids and families at Kids Kingdom Park. We'll have the official kickoff at 11 a.m. We've got, um, we'll have paddle boats down here by the river at this section of the river. We have a bocce ball and chess. You've seen the, the chess board over here and bocce ball back over here. Uh, we'll actually have a chance to play some bocce ball here in a second. But those games will be going on, letting, letting folks uh, take a turn at playing those games. We'll have a skate demonstration going on at the skate park. We'll have tours at the Water Lily Collection. We'll have a washer, washer pitching tournament going on right behind me with about 50 teams. We'll have canoe races with the Girl Scouts over um, by their headquarters near the Visitor Center. Uh, we'll have a vintage baseball game at Kids Kingdom put on by Fort Concho. The carnival continues in the afternoon Saturday. There'll be a cardboard boat regatta coming off a celebration bridge behind us. And uh, I think the turnaround point will probably be these pylons here at Chadron Bridge. Uh, that should be a fun event. We hope to get a lot of uh, ASU students participate in that one. We'll have an art event. Art opens doors underneath Chadman Bridge just behind us. We have a special feature not yet announced that will go on at the Paseo by the pavilions um, back up this way down to the south. We still hope to have a laser light show if we can get the sponsorship for that. It'll be on the back side of the river stage back behind us. And then we'll have a, a large carnival, signature carnival, I mean, a concert at the river stage that evening with uh, Little Texas and Casey James. And then Sunday, the carnival will still be open uh, Saturday afternoon. So we want you all to, to know about the event. It's uh, a first-time event. We hope to have it every year. And if you have any questions, <clears throat> have any questions about the, the event, please ask us.